Hey there. I am here with my Alexis sculpt. Um, Alexis was painted by, Alexis sculpt is by Cassie Bryce and she was painted by Natalia Ramzilova. I don't think I'm saying that right. Um, I hate that, but I, I don't, I can't really look look her up but I originally when I got this baby she was a custom I got her in oh and that cord fell I got her in August and I have her up for sale and as I was posting pictures today on Facebook advertising her um I realized maybe maybe I want to keep her I don't know she's I looked at my own pictures and I was like holy cow that is a beautiful baby um she came to me as a girl. I've dressed her as a boy and I've called him Ace. So, but I never really kind of like bonded with him. So I don't know. I thought I would come on today. You can see my dirty tennis shoe. I'm sorry. I'm trying something new put on the floor. But I thought I would come on today and dress him in this cute little outfit. Um, I've got a brand new Bravia Butta diaper that everybody loves. I've had this forever, haven't used it, but I thought, now this sculpt is pretty big. I don't know if that'll fit, fit very well, but anyway, I thought I would just come on and change him and see what he looks like. I, um, the outfit I purchased a long time ago, and I only, I don't have that many boys in my collection. Um, actually, this would be, if I, if I'm consistent about gender and keep this one a boy, that looks cute. Probably need to stuff her more, him more. Um, that would be my only boy. And I have some, a lot of boy clothes because I've had a boy silicone, two boy silicone dolls. Um, but I was gonna put him in this Janie K outfit I purchased a while back. And this nice, I love that blue color. That blue, kind of a robin's egg blue almost, maybe a little bit ten, tr uh, leaning toward green. Little onesie shirt, and then this cute um, knit, tan knit romper. And then I thought this cardigan would look cute. I need to take the little strings off. So who knows, maybe I will fall in love with this baby all over again. Um, yeah, so I, um, <laughs> I don't keep dolls long. I don't know if I just don't attach to them or what, but anyway, this sculpt is so beautiful. Um, I have admired the sculpt for a while and, um, was very lucky that I was able to have the artist who did her, him, um, make make it for me um, because she did an incredibly I think a really good job um, it's a different style of painting not that I know a lot about paint styles um, but what one of the things I do like and I mean I guess it's a double-edged sword uh, she's Alexis isn't um, matted very heavily and and I don't know if this is accurate or not but in my perception from my experience the dolls that are heavily matted are more durable, right? Or at least that's what I th I think we're told. Um, or I, I believe it's true because it's a protective layer. But sometimes I think it, it seems as though, and I don't know if I'm not an artist, but it seems as though it kind of, oh, I don't know, it kind of, you can, you can tell just in a photo because the different skin tones don't reflect the light in the same way, the undertones that are painted, I guess you would say. And I have a prototype doll that is, I, I think is pretty heavily, I love this color, pretty heavily matted. And I love her, she's beautiful. And she's probably, I would guess, fairly durable. But Alexis, the Alexis sculpt is not matted very heavily. I mean, I can still feel there's a texture, but I feel like it, it allows some of the color undertones to come through. I don't know. I don't know if I know what I'm talking about. So 
you know, I do not tout myself as an expert for sure. And I definitely am not an artist. Um, but I admire artists, right? Oh, I almost forgot to unhook this. So yeah, um, I am expecting another doll. It's a custom um, and she's supposed to be here today. So there is a good chance that I will have another box opening video today, um, providing UPS continues to run on time, as it says it will. I just pulled that spare button off. Um, so yeah, I think this, this doll makes a good boy or a girl. And you know, the size of this sculpt, I guess it's not as much the sculpt as the body that's on the sculpt, right? Um, is, I think, perfect because the clothing I buy is mostly from Jamie Kay and the smallest size that they have in a variety of styles is zero to three. And I have an abundance of zero to three month clothing. And you're gonna see the cord to my ring light just fell probably. And I do need to stuff her him. I need to stop calling it a her or a him. Um, but anyway, the sizing, I have a bunch of clothes that this baby would fit in as either gender. And I guess that's kind of the, the fun part of reborns is that they can be either gender, right? So these two colors together, I just love, I think the color of the onesie underneath is called feather and I don't know I just think this combination of the tan and the blue looks really good together in my opinion so anyway this is really cute oh my gosh I think it makes a really cute boy look oh that's really cute and he fits in these so well I think a little big in the arms, I guess, for the cardigan. But babies look good, I think, in oversized clothing. I don't know if I want to leave that on. I think I want to take this off. I think I just want to appreciate the. I don't know. There's something about those two colors that I just really love. So there we go. A little set pillowcase up. I don't know if this really helps or not. Oh my gosh, so cute! I hope you guys can see that. I brought this pansy down. I was gonna cut it because it matched um, the cardigan. So I'm gonna go ahead and, this sculpt takes a cut pacifier, which is kind of cool. I have a ton of pacifiers with duplicates. I think I need to cut it a little bit shorter or maybe thin it out. I am not good at this part, so let's see. There, I kind of cut it like that. I don't know if you can see that or not, but let's go ahead and pop that in. I think that should work. No, well, heavens to Betsy. Huh, we'll cut it a little shorter, although I don't know. Let's see if we get that long enough. Oh, there. That's perfect. That coordinates nicely. Oh my goodness. I love this. Did I bring a pair of socks? Of course I didn't. I thought I did. Oh, I did. But I noticed now they have a gray bottom on them. So it's kind of an athletic sock look, but we're gonna go with it. Just because it's cold out. Although I don't know about where you've been. It's been unseasonably warm here. It's kind of disturbing. I like the cold a little bit. It's been like in the 70s and 60s and I'm not like in the south so. His coloring is amazing I think. Oh my goodness. I love this little boy. Cute. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I know this is another quick video but I thought I would show you in this cute little outfit and show you how handsome he is. Little Ace. Okay, thanks for watching guys.